What is up, guys? Back with some more breaking news. Uh, this news actually came out a while ago, but I have not seen anyone talk about it. It came out like two days ago, I think. So I figured I might as well bring it to you guys because this... I feel like this is an underrated thing that happened. And what happened is that Kyle Lowry sold his house in Toronto. Now, you could go two different ways here. You could be like, okay... That's it. Toronto, Kyle Lowry is done. Like, he is gone. 76ers, Kyle Lowry, here we come. Or wherever you think he's going to go. Clippers, whatever. Or you could be like, okay, maybe he's just getting a rental in case the Raptors ship him out, but he wants to stay. Which I could see because I don't think Kyle Lowry wants to leave the Raptors. I think it'll be very, like, I think it'll be very emotional if he does decide, okay, Maybe it's the best decision for both sides. But remember how emotional he was when DeMar DeRozan got traded? Even though they ended up winning a championship, I still think to this day that bothers him that that happened. Even though they won a championship. So I could definitely see that, that he wants to still be in Toronto, but uh, he might be like, okay, maybe it's time to have a new chapter in my career. Or... He might just have sold his house, like, just as a regular person does sometimes. Or, he's like, okay, let's get out of here. Pack our bags. Sell the house. We are heading to Philly or Los Angeles, wherever. Because the two rumor places are Philadelphia and Los Angeles Clippers. Um, I've also heard Knicks a little bit, but not much. Uh, he didn't make the All-Star team this year, which was kind of not very surprising, I felt like, to me, because the Raptors have been so trash this year. But, like, he's been an all-star for so many years in a row that it kind of felt weird that he wasn't there when I watched it tonight. Because uh, this is probably a different day that you're watching this than the all-star game. And he's putting up 18, 7, and 5.5. And so he's still putting up all-star caliber numbers. Uh, like, pretty similar numbers to last season. And he made it last season, but with the Raptors not playing well at all, he just didn't make it, which I think is definitely legitimate, definitely fair. Uh, a lot of people were saying, like, one of the Raptors should have made it. No, I, no, just with the way they're playing, no. Um, Ra that's mainly Raptors fans that are saying that. They're like, oh, Fred Van Vliet should have made it. And then some people are like, no, no, that, no, he should not have. And then they're like, okay, Pascal Siakam? And people are like, no, de no, definitely not. Pascal Siakam, like, I think it's underrated how bad he has played. Just he played terrible. And I know I'm going to get hate for that in the comments, but I, I don't like Pascal Siakam's game. I don't think it's a very good style to play. And then after that, people are like, okay, Kyle Lowry, and everyone was like, no, I, it's not fair for the Raptors to have an all-star. Yes, the Magic have Nikola Vucevic, which is kind of random and weird, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe voter fatigue or something. I'm not sure. Uh, Kyle Lowry, though, still putting up all-star caliber numbers, even if he did not end up making it. Still having a very good year at the age of, what is he, mid-30s. So he has been pr doing pretty well against Father Time. Uh, and I think his game, like, it ages pretty well. Uh, he's... NBA champion, and I think that'll be end up being the highlight of his career. I'd be kind of surprised if it wasn't, uh, and I'm ready for a new chapter of Kyle Lowry. I think it's time for him to move on and go help a contending team. Uh, I don't know how much longer is left on his contract, but once he eat, his contract's over, he seems like the type of player that will take a step back playing-wise, game-wise, and take a step forward winning-wise, and just go help a team. Similar to how Ray Allen played for that Miami Heat team uh, a while ago, where he took a step back role-wise and took a step forward winning-wise. You know, that, maybe that's not the best example because he won with Boston already and Boston was all mad about it. Everyone knows the story. But 
I would say best fit for Kyle Lowry is I really like the 76ers idea, if possible, for a good trade. But I also like don't think the Sixers should really change much if they don't need to because they've been playing so well. Uh, but maybe you have to now because the Brooklyn Nets are starting to look really, really, really good. So maybe they do end up making something like that happen. Or then the other one that's been talked about is the Clippers, which, yeah, that would make a lot of sense if they could do that. Reunite Kawhi and Kyle Lowry. They already won a championship together. Every single season they've played together, they won a championship. Okay, fine. It was one year, but still, uh, that would be a good re reunition, reuniting, uh, and get like Pat Patrick Beverly, Lou Williams, just players that haven't really played the best for you. I would say a good package would probably be like Patrick Beverly, Lou Williams, and. Maybe you have to throw, like, Patrick Patterson in there for, like, contract to work or something. Uh, or maybe the Raptors want more back, like, a young player. So you give them, like, Terrence Mann like or Mif Mifondu Cabangeli, who is, I think, Dikembe's, like, nephew or something. Dikembe Mutombo. Uh, so I think you could definitely try to do some of that. And it would be a pretty good idea, I think, for the Clippers. I kind of like it more for the Clippers now that I'm talking about it than I had previously. Uh, now that I'm saying it out loud, I think the Clippers should definitely, definitely go for this. And the 76ers, I'm kind of like, eh, eh. Just do what you feel like is right and try not to mess up that chemistry you got going. And then the Knicks, like, the Knicks are just always, like, in trade rumors because they're the Knicks. They have so much cap space. I don't see it happening with the Knicks. Uh, doesn't really make sense to me at all. They have Derrick Rose. I think that was a past rumor, so I don't think that's going to happen. And I don't really think anyone else is saying that anymore. So uh, I think it's Clippers or Sixers, really. I don't really know if another team would trade for him. Maybe, like, the Celtics would figure something out. But I don't think they would. They'd probably have to give up Kemba. And I don't think they'd be willing to do that. So I don't know. I am not sure. I don't think Sixers would actually be that great of an idea because just because of the Kemba thing. And there's really not any other team unless they want to trade Kyle Lowry for Victor Oladipo. But that's kind of a weird trade. Uh, I don't know why that came to my head, but I was just thinking of players that didn't really feel like they were going to stick around much longer. Uh, but that's the end of the video. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. If you think it's a big deal he's selling his house or he sold his house or you don't think it's a big deal. Also, don't forget to like the video because it helps out so much. And that is it. See you guys later. Peace.